There's healthy anger, such as what I've just talked about, which is just a boundary protection. It's not evil to hurt somebody else. It's just all animals do it. They'll, they'll, gen, you know, they'll generate an anger response. You've entered their space. Ha! Ah, get out. You're in my. It's healthy. It's a boundary defense. You can't live without it. When you get the message that your anger is not acceptable to your parents and you repress it, now you have lost your boundary defense. Now you're the kid who's going to get bullied. The bully can always tell. It's, it's not random who gets bullied. Kids who get randomly bullied are the kids with no boundary protection. The kids who bully are the ones who actually feel very weak inside and they have to make themselves more powerful by dominating somebody else. Something happened to both the bully and the bullied kid to create that dynamic. So healthy anger is just a boundary defense. Then there's unhealthy anger. That's when we're triggered into a reaction by some unhealed wound from the past. So um, I'm walking towards you in the street and I'm thinking about something and I'm looking at you in a certain way and you get offended. Hey, you're disrespecting me. Well, I didn't, I wasn't even know that you, you went, I didn't know you were there. Never mind, this, this is, I don't know you. But then you go into a rage. Or we do this in a relationship, like my wife might disappoint me somehow and I go into a rage. That's not healthy anger. That's unhealthy anger. So anger is basically three resolutions. The expression of healthy anger, which is in the moment, it's a boundary defense. Once you express it, it's done its job. It dissipates, it's no longer necessary, just an emotion that's there to protect you. Or there's the repression of anger, which can, by the way, what do we call depression? What's depression? What does it mean to depress something? It means to push it down. What do we push down in depression or emotions? Why do we push down our emotions? Because their environment couldn't accept them. So we push down our healthy anger, we push down everything, we become flat. So there's the repression of healthy anger, which can lead to autoimmune disease and depression and so on and so forth. Then there's unhealthy anger, which is rage, a reaction triggered in the present by something that resembles the past. And you're thinking you're reacting to the present when you're acting you're reacting to the past, to this unhealed wound. And that's toxic to you and to the people receiving it. When I had that unhealthy anger, that was toxic to my children and very hard on my marriage. Um, so there is that unhealthy anger. By the way, in the aftermath of a rage episode, your risk of a heart attack or a stroke doubles for the next two hours because your blood vessels constrict, clotting factors go up and your blood pressure goes up. So there's healthy anger, there's the repression of healthy anger, and then there's unhealthy anger. And when people talk about anger, it's usually the last one that they're talking about. Mm -hmm.